about the science involved? Today, let us teach you about your favorite sport. Introducing the physics of tennis by P.T. Mattel, Noah Sapanisai, and Kyle Drain. For all of you who have never played tennis, let me educate you. Tennis is a sport of course in which two or four players strike a ball or rackets over a net stretched across the court. In simple words, tennis is a racket sport. When a player serves, the ball bounces and physics kicks in. The moment the ball comes in contact with the surface, it starts to deform and this causes acceleration in the upward direction. To remind you, acceleration is the increase in the rate of the speed of an object. When the ball begins taking form again, the velocity advances in the upwards direction and soon pushes off the surface and returns to the air. Drag is a force generated by the contact of a body and a fluid. In tennis, drag is caused by the friction the tennis ball and the air produce as it moves through it. Another aspect of physics comes into play while serving. When the ball accelerates due to the hit of the racket, it travels in a projectile motion. A projectile is an object on which the only force acting is gravity. In projectile motion, the horizontal component and the vertical component are independent of each other. That is, neither affects the other. The horizontal component of the velocity remains unchanged throughout the motion. However, the downward vertical component of the velocity increases because the acceleration due to gravity is constant. All of us have heard about Isaac Newton at some point in our lives, and yes, he has a role to play here. In his first law, in tennis, the most obvious instance of Newton's first law is the path of the ball. When you smack the ball with your racket, it heads off in a certain direction. On Earth, two major forces are at work. Air resistance slows the, ball, slows the speed of the ball, and gravity pulls the ball toward the ground. The second law, when you whack that tennis ball with your racket, in space or on Earth, you exerted a force on it. How much force? That's where Newton's second law comes in. Force equals mass times acceleration. The third law, you serve the ball, your opponent returns the serve, and you go to return her volley. You plant your foot on the ground and push off. You push it one direction at an angle into the ground, and your body goes in the opposite direction at an angle away from the ground. The force which you push into the ground is the force with which you are propelled forward. That's action and reaction. People wonder which part of the tennis racket is the best for hitting a tennis ball. A tennis racket launches a tennis ball by transferring energy to it. There are parts of the tennis racket known as sweet spots that are the best for hitting a tennis ball. One is located near the center of the strings. Other important spots on the tennis racket include the dead spot and the spot with the best bounce. The dead spot transfers little to no energy to the tennis ball when it hits it. In the game of tennis, there are four commonly used serves. The flat serve, the slice serve, the kick serve, and the topspin serve. Each has its advantages and disadvantages. So, players themselves decide what is best for them. A flat serve is the strongest tennis serve out of the four and is also the easiest to learn. A slice serve is a little like the flat serve, although the way in which you hit the ball is slightly different. A topspin serve is a tennis serve that travels straight like a flat serve but bounces high for your oven. And lastly, a kick serve is a mix between a top spin serve and a slice serve. To 
conclude this video, we will give you a short summary. Physics plays a major role in tennis and many other sports. Tennis is a racket sport played with a ball, rackets, and a net stretched across the court. While balancing, the ball deforms when it contacts the surface, but as soon as it comes back to its form, it returns to the air. A tennis ball travels in a projectile motion when it gets hit by the racket. Newton's laws also come into play. The path of the ball depicts the force law. The force of the racket on the ball represents the second law. And lastly, the force of your foot on the ground and the ground's force on your foot is the third law. Drag. In tennis, drag is caused by the friction the ball and the air produce. Sweet spots. Sweet spots are the best places to hit the ball. There are four common sweet spots. The dead spot, the dead bounce, and the two in the middle, called the node and the COP. To improve your game, make sure the angle of the ball is small in order to get a high horizontal range. Also make sure that when you hit the serve, the racket faces downward. It is also really important to account for wind since it has a huge effect on how the ball moves, as any unbalanced forces caused by the wind will make the ball accelerate in the wrong direction.